All right, we got the John Deere D140 riding mower, and we have a mower belt that broke. So we're gonna go through replacing it. Got the replacement here, mower belt for the 48 inch deck. You gotta check what size deck you've got, get the right belt, and let's get to it. While your dog inspects the machine, uh, grab a couple 2x4 scraps. So we're going to set these underneath the deck. Put one in the back here. Right. And grab a couple for the other side. And I like to put them right behind the tires. And we'll set it down. Oh, it's low setting. Okay. Make sure it's setting on there real good. All right, we have a couple of pins that we're gonna start removing out. If you've got your manual, it walks you through these steps pretty well. So. First, we're going to start grabbing the spring locking pins and washers. And we get the draft arms. That is underneath here. This guy. Here's these arms on both sides of the deck. We got to take those out. Pull the pin. Grab the washer too. Pin and washer. As you can see here, we got the pin and the washer removed. Then we pop the arm. Okay. If we go a little further back, you're gonna see. I think they call these the lift links. And it's these silver guys. Right here. So we'll do the same thing. Pull out the pin, the washer, and the link. You can slightly lift the deck here to pull that link off the bracket. All right, we got both sides disconnected, and then we've got to go to the front here for that one. So we can grab that locking pin and washer uh, from the front draft rod from the mower deck bracket, and then we'll pull this belt out, and then we should be able to slide this out. should be able to slide the mower deck out. There we go. All right, now that we got the uh, deck out, we're gonna take off these two caps here on each side. Uh, we'll clean off the top and then we'll replace the belt that has been busted. All right, we're gonna remove these with a 10 millimeter socket wrench. Flip it over, inspect the bottom, clean it out, and check your blades. Yeah, I got some cracks here. I'm gonna think how these are gonna need to be replaced. Two of them. This one's okay, it could be sharpened. But I've been running this for about four years now, three and a half years, so it might be time to replace all of them. All right, next we gotta loosen up some of these uh, bolts here so we can thread the new belt so we're going to loosen up this one 
this one and this one, and then I'm gonna take off this bracket here so I can get it all threaded. So I got a 16 uh, socket, and let's we'll just start loosening them off. And you don't have to take the bolts off all the way. As long as you can slide it up and down, you should be able to sneak the belt in just by raising it up, just like that. So I've loosened that, taken off these two brackets, or this bracket here, and loosened, loosened. So again, you can raise them up and manipulate. So we'll get it threaded, and then I'll show you what it should look like once it's all threaded. Looking at the diagram here, and I got the same thing going on here. And once you've gotten it threaded, you just start pulling it a little bit and making sure everything's working. Okay. Now we'll get this back into position. We'll loop it onto the last piece and then we'll secure this back up. Also, if you didn't notice, I took a minute and gave this thing a deep cleaning. So it needed it and it's looking good now. Flip the bottom over replaced the blades while I was at it and spray painted the bottom and I'll show you how to replace the blades uh, in a different video. Don't forget, get your covers on and your bracket. Got those screwed back in and everything's looking good still. Everything feels nice and smooth so we'll put it in place. All right we got the deck back on top of the wood blocks. I got two on this side, two on the other side over there. We've got it lined up underneath. Got to get these arms in position. Right over there. And these guys in position. Ready to go up on top. Here are those pieces. So we'll get those done first. And then we'll attach. Reattach front rod. We go to the top hole here. And once those two, or once those pieces are in place, then we can get this piece threaded here. We're gonna do that uh, using this. It slides forward. We'll stick a wrench in there. When you turn it clockwise, It'll allow you to pull it up. You can also push it if it's kind of loose. See there's give. So that's how we'll get that threaded on top and then we'll be good to go. All right, we also want to make sure that the uh, lift attachment's in its lowest setting because that is going to drop these arms down for you. To make it easy to grab. And we'll go ahead and do this on the other side too. All right, now let's connect this front drive rod and we'll connect it to the top hole of this model. Alright, get your 
your socket wrench or adjustable wrench. All right, once it's in place, then I'll pull that piece forward and we should be able to get the belt onto the last one here. Truth. 